Um, I'm Gracia Liu Ferrer. I'm a sociologist. I study migration. And um, at uh, graduate school of Asia Pacific Studies, I teach uh, uh, global sociology and uh, cultural globalization. Um, I study migration, mostly international migration. Um, basically, um, I investigate why and how people move across borders and uh, what kinds of consequences such uh, uh, movement will bring to both individuals and the societies, of, um, the societies where they come from and also the societies they move into. I, I am a migrant and I was an internal migrant in China. I was born and grew up in China, so I moved within China and then um, I was an international migrant, first uh, moving from China to the United States and then uh, moving from the um, United States to Japan, so multiple migrants. And uh, from my own uh, experiences, I kind of uh, realize how much migration uh, can change uh, somebody's life chances and also how transformative such uh, uh, movement will bring to both the, uh, the sense of self, the individual sense of self, and also the societies, you know, both societies from the standing societies and uh, the whole societies. As a person, after uh, moving around in the world, a lot of experiences. What I see myself uh, most of all is a researcher and a professor. At the same time, in my personal life, I also have these personal roles. So I see myself in my roles. And this is a kind of identity I think I cherish the most. And um, because identity is closely related to migration, when people move, when they uh, uh, cross cultural boundaries, the social contexts, I think uh, they also start thinking uh, of um, the, the stories they want to tell people and what kinds of people they, they are. So um, I uh, also have a lot of students who want to study identity. And uh, in my teaching, I will introduce uh, um, reading materials to, to, first of all, ask them to realize what identity is and then what uh, the kinds of questions um, they want to ask about identities. First of all, we all want to solve puzzles. There's interesting questions and there's no answer to. For example, why do some, some people uh, reject vaccination, for example? And that sort of a puzzle is uh, one of the important motivation for us. Um, the other motivation is um, to solve problems. Uh, for example, right now uh, Japan is aging and um, needs immigration, actually needs a lot of immigrant labor. However, uh, Japanese society is uh, struggling with the notion of immigration because they wonder how we can have immigrants and still live a kind of Japanese life. And so as a researcher, I think uh, it is uh, important to be motivated to find solutions to this sort of uh, seemingly unsolvable problem. So I think these are the main motivations. Now, first of all, I've just mentioned that uh, Japan needs immigration, but how to integrate migrants is still a very big um, issue. And um, I think it takes a lot of effort to try to even find some ways to um, solve this problem or, you know, to find a, a kind of a program or find some solutions uh, to this. For example, um, a lot of uh, uh, the wars that are going on in many parts of the world, there will be refugee issues. And also with the climate change, with the global warming, we're going to see a huge migration flow. So I, I, see, I see this uh, field as uh, um, ongoing and it has a lot of potential to develop um, energy and time too. 
Uh, GSAPS is uh, a graduate school that has um, experts in a wide range of fields. It's very multidisciplinary. And we also have students from all over the world with different kinds of uh, cultural and social backgrounds. So it's a very diverse environment. Yet, we all are passionate about study and research 